Welcome back to Deponia. Let's see what we're gonna do next. So we packed a suitcase in the last part. Oh, there's a suitcase right there. here. Now where shall I put it? We should put it... Control panel? Wenzel? Tony's house. Door of pie. You know? Let me see something here before we... Okay, we did that. Stole the suitcase. So it looks like we stole it in the pie. Calibrate the harpoon. Light the fuse. Cling to the organic cruiser. Okay. Lesium. What is Elysium? Paradise? <laughs> oh, I really wanted to take the suitcase along. We are? There's no room there. Really? Let me see something. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Here comes the first puzzle of the day. <laughs> oh, I really wanted to take the suitcase along. There's no room there. Okay, I'm just making There's no sure. room there. Oh, no. All right, can't and close this now. A sensor. My masterpiece. I've been working on this for so long. It must have been since Monday. <laughs> since Monday. Okay, maybe the wrench? I'm thinking this is more for calibration. Light the fuse. Okay, there's the fuse there. I'll calibrate the hot. I'll have to load the suitcase first. I want to be better prepared this time. Uh, okay. Suitcase. How about Wenzel? Maybe he has something for us. Does he? Hey, Wenzel. What's up? Oh. About Ooh. the plan. Are there any problems? Problems? No, 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 no. The plan is perfect. But. Hmm. Oh. The suitcase doesn't fit into the pod. So you didn't think of adding some storage space? Of course I thought of it, but... So what's the problem? I already told you, there is no problem. The plan is perfect. And who am I to contradict you? No one. <sighs> Anything else? That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I, I don't think I should take the same thing, I don't know. Now what happens when I've got the pod ready? <sighs> We wait for the Organon Cruiser. As soon as it's here, you light the fuse and jump into the cockpit. You have calibrated the harpoon, right? Not yet, but there'll be plenty of time for that. Uh, if you say so. All right. Pack, calibrate, light fuse, and... Yes! I'll launch myself into the upper spheres! Well, at least there's a chance that the magnet will hit the cruiser. But... No buts. This time, everything will work. I'll show you. I'll show everybody. It will be a spectacle. No doubt. Any other problems? Hmm. This time, it'll work out. I just know it. Sure, Rufus. Of course. I think that's it. No problems. Why? Of course not. Of course. How could I ever think such a thing? Yeah, Renzo, how can you? <laughs> uh, go oh, back, go to, back work to work then. You better do that. You haven't got much time left. Uh oh. Is there time limit for this? Okay, so we gotta figure out where we could put the suitcase. Throw up the pot. Story, really? It's a story space right there. That's so funny. Maybe a pop up after we talk to him. <laughs> The storage space is closed. Uh, open it maybe? <laughs> oh crap! The battery's using up all the space! Take off the battery? <laughs> Do we need the battery? There! And now? There we go! I just got that from there. Hmm. Let's see if we could 
put it anywhere else. Maybe the top? Well. See? <laughs> New problem. <laughs> oh, crap. It's screwed tight. What? If I remove the seat, it might just fit, but how's it going to be attached? And more importantly, where shall I sit? Oh, this is definitely puzzle with puzzle. Okay, let's see if this will do anything. Hmm. I might be able to do without this. Base play. That's where the seat was attached. I'll need some kind of replacement. Oh. I take it off? Oh, this is the C still. What are we gonna sit with the There's nothing that needs to be though? screwed here. There's nothing that needs to be screwed here. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we have around us? Oh, I feel like I just saw something. Oh, no, that's the few. Yeah, moving the mouse everywhere. And use that. Why don't we go click on the house again? Oh, we could go back. Huh. Maybe there's something here we could use or... I don't want to head back out. Let's see what the commentator have to say. Or that developer. I mean, I always click on the developer. So, after we've puzzled through the first hurdles of packing a suitcase, we can now play Rufus' first escape attempt towards Elysium, leaving behind this heap forever. Yeah, well, the weather forecast bent us over in that one. We were told there would be rain in this scene, and as a matter of fact, I always planned this scene to take place in the rain. I actually also found an old character design of Tony standing in a puddle on the screen, wearing a heavy raincoat, the smoke she always has in the corner of her mouth is just as soaked as she is, all dripping and bent. Oh, and by the way, Tony's character is roughly inspired by Doris Day. <laughs> the more you know. Okay. I starting to feel like the developer commentary doesn't help much at all. <laughs> you know, okay, let's see. Next thing to do was oh, store. Oh, we gotta store the batteries there before we can calibrate the harpoon. So we gotta take care of that, huh? Okay. What is this again? Oh, chapter overview. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, that's cool. I invite to this. I'll have to prepare the escape pod first. I want to be better prepared this time. Hmm, interesting. Base play. Must be something the liver. Oh. That's where the seat was attached. I'll need some kind of replacement. There. Now where shall I put it? But how's it going to be attached? And more importantly, where shall I sit? I have a feeling we may need to go back into the house. And a sensor. My masterpiece. I've been working on this for so long. It must have been since Monday. <laughs> That's so long to him. That's funny. Okay. Um... Try some of these things that we have, which maybe. Poor, it's attached firmly. Poor, it's attached firmly. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, never know. This isn't much use now, I guess. Hmm. This isn't much use now, I guess. 
Yeah, maybe. Let me go talk to uh, Wenzel again. Puzzle can be pretty tough. Hey, Wenzel. What's up? Do you also think there are boundless riches in Elysium? Don't know. I'm happy with what I got. Yeah, but I will have so much more. Aw, poor, poor Wenzel. <laughs> this guy. Um... About the plan. Are there any problems? Problems? No, 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 no. The plan is perfect. But... Ah. Where shall I put the battery? Couldn't you have thought of building a compartment or something before? I had other things on my mind, okay? You slept through the whole afternoon while I assembled the telescope. Well, I have to feel rested when I get to Elysium. Of course you have. Anything else? Um... Now, what happens when I've got the pod ready? <sighs> we wait for the Organon Cruiser. Yep, we seen that. It... <laughs> Okay, so I think we're down here. No problems. Why? Of course not! Of course! How could I ever think such a thing? I'll go back to work then. You better do that. You haven't got much time left. Alright, now maybe that opened up something compartment. And a sense. Okay. Oh, it's good to know I could skip the message we already heard. I'll That's probably the do that for now. I'll need some kind of replacement. A uh, compartment, huh? I do anything? I just got that from there. Right. That only opens and closes it. That's. I feel like we need something else here. Let me just take a look I'll at I'll have to the... prepare the escape pod first. I want to be better prepared this Okay. This will be the most spectacular departure ever. I just need to prepare my escape pod for launch, adjust the harpoon, light the fuse, and then it's showtime! Then the rockets will shoot a powerful electromagnet toward a passing Organon cruiser. The escape pod is connected to that very powerful electromagnet via a long chain. Once the magnet is attached to the Organon cruiser, I can reel in the chain with a pedal-operated winch system and pull myself and the pod up. Then, the cruiser will bring me directly to Elysium. This time, nothing can go wrong. Sounds like a pretty good plan, actually. <laughs> I'll go back in the house, see if uh, we can find something back there, maybe. Alright, so we need some sort of compartment. Are we going to her room? Maybe she... How about this? Hmm, locked. Tony must have the key. This is the same thing. I mean, we have a trunk. This the... Oak cutter. Everything is the same here. My father left me a trunk before he left me. I Doesn't seem like anything new around here that we can possibly use. Ah. Can we go out? Oh wow, well, this this may be it, maybe what we need to... Ouch! Hot! Wow, oh look at that airplane thing, or the helicopter, it's like a drone! <laughs> Ouch, hot, huh? Doorbell. I was wondering if I click it three times, it will do something magical. <laughs> I guess hey, not. No problem. Oh crap! It's screwed tight. 
Oh, I think I know what to do next. We can take the mailbox, but let me talk to this guy. Hello, Hannock. Hey, um, uh, well, uh, Rufus. Ah, <laughs> I'm really terrible with names. Oh, cool. Did you see Tony anywhere? Tony? A big, angry, breathes fire. My former girlfriend. Ah, Tony. Well, I guess she's down in her store, working. Like everybody else, except you. <laughs> I'll finally leave this junk heap of a planet. <laughs> oh yeah, another one of your brilliant plans? This time, it's absolutely foolproof. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You being a fool and all. But I reckon you running around here has got nothing to do with any other problems. No, it hasn't. <laughs> well, good for you. Is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector 7. Another junk slide? All this trash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be gone for good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, I only know you won't be leaving through this tunnel. Hmm, interesting. Okay, the plan itself is foolproof, but... Here we go. <laughs> Uh, I removed the seat, but where do I put the battery now? And where do I sit? Well, seems like you need a kind of seat with a battery compartment. A seat with a battery compartment? I've never seen anything like it. Well, I have. I had one just like that. It was pretty comfortable. Until I accidentally found the switch. What? The switch? What are you talking about? Uh, I think we did that one. Ha! I just need to prepare the capsule for the launch, adjust the harpoon, light the fuse, and then it's showtime! Uh-huh. Then what? The escape pod is connected to that very powerful electromagnet via a long chain. Once the magnet is attached to the Organon cruiser, I can reel in the chain with a pedal-operated winch system and pull myself and the pod up. I see. And then? Then, the cruiser will bring me directly to Elysium. Well, I really don't see how this plan of yours could go wrong. <laughs> uh... Don't worry, I'll make it. Sure. I'll write you a postcard from Elysium. You go ahead and do that. Elysium. I like the way he said that. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Alright, we're off. This chili pepper, can we take that with something? Or... Maybe the sea? <laughs> I don't know. Nope, I've been sitting on my butt long enough. Uh, I just tried different thing. how about this? It's hot enough. <laughs> maybe with this. Yikes! What? That was strange. Okay, well we got a compartment thing. You know, I meant to see if we could go behind that guy earlier. Oh well. <laughs> oh, let me go back again. There was a developer commentator I didn't press on. In this way we could also see if we could go behind this guy, if he'll say anything. Oh, okay, we can't we can't click it. All right, there you go. And here we are in the front of Tony's home. Um, I can comment a bit on the visuals. This is in fact the first screen created for the pony at all. I even made the first version myself, and thus the very uh, first asset for the game. Um, yeah, my first version of the screen, Edna style, though. Back then, to the left was a pretty huge tire heap under the plateau with the tunnel leading to the town center. No, wait, actually, the heap was on the right, and left was a pile of old ET cartridges. At the time, I read somewhere of the story that the Atari developers who created the ET console game dumped all the remaining copies uh, in the desert somewhere, as the game did uh, exceptionally poor. 
This story was so hilarious that I had to give it a friendly nut in the screen while uh, I was still thinking maybe I'll do the screens myself again. That never happened and I'm actually uh, quite happy about this. Um, uh, since we recruited uh, Michael Benrath, Michael Benrath, no. uh, <laughs> I already worked with him together on a licensed game called uh, One and a Half Nights, basically the second uh, Delic game. Um, but or was it the third after Whispered World? Before Whispered World? Uh, before Whispered World, yeah, right. There he also did the background and I was convinced that he's exactly the right person for drawing the cartoony backgrounds for a world like Deponia. And indeed we were lucky to have him on board and that he brought along enough time and motivation to walk with us for several years. In fact, Micha was the first and only one on the team sitting in one room with me for roughly one year and I fleshed out the complete concept for Deponia. So it was supposed to be one single game, the complete journey, so to speak, until we realized that the whole thing was way too huge for only one game and we eventually had to split it into three parts. Another remarkable thing about the screen is that I noticed how alarmingly committed uh, our animators are. Uh, we were on a rather strict timetable in regards of uh, animation, despite our long to-do list to breathe life into Deponia. And it was here that an animator worked on a mailbox and she was just supposed to give it a quick animation. It even was listed as a nice to have as it was just a standard use wrench with mailbox situation. We usually solve things like that with standard animations, um, at least in older titles. But for some reasons it ended up on her list. So she made this very elaborate animation where Rufus sent that mailbox flying and caught it in his code. <laughs> All I thought was, wow, I, I want stuff like this for the whole game. And that's where the true insanity of Deponia started. Uh, awesome. From a scripter's point of view, this room is really interesting as well as a perspective um, of this bridge. It's quite a challenge for a 2D adventure engine. You see Rufus moves forward while walking down the bridge and still moves forward when he walks up that bridge again. That means moving the character along the uh, y-axis has him walk to the front until he hits the middle and then he moves to the back or the north of the screen. And that's something Visionaire, our engine, is not designed to do. And that made this a very, very difficult screen scripting wise. We tried a lot and actually did a redraw of the screen to polish it as much as possible. Very interesting screen right in the beginning. Wow, what an introduction. Wow, that was a long commentary. I, I was tempted to hit the escape button. But I figure if you want to skip it, you can always fast forward. <laughs> it's good to know about the whole Atari thing. That's so funny. Dump the rest of the, the oh no 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 not that way wrong way <laughs> dump the whole thing in the desert I guess at the time Nintendo was its biggest competitor maybe I'm I'm not too sure on that but I guess it already come down to marketing Okay let's see what we can do Hmm mailbox Ha! There you go! Wow, we could set on that too, right? It's cool. Ha! There you go! There! The capsule is ready. Now, all I have to do is calibrate the harpoon. Yay, we did it! Sweet! Calibrate the harpoon. Let's do it. Harpoon. Okay. Oh wow. There. Too bad the two directions of the control stick are blocked, but who needs those anyway? The main thing is that the crosshairs are right on the tracks. And then I'm gone. Ha! <laughs> this will be a walk in the park. Really? And that's probably the most essential we need? <laughs> okay, this is like one of those, um, you know, the arcade machine where you get the little prices. With the hook thing? This is so cool. Let's try something. Oh wow. Oh look at that. Oh interesting. No? Like a puzzle. 
So this will take us. Hmm. Wow, this is very interesting. So it goes two block over one up. And this will take us three block over and one down. Wow, I feel like we really need those. So either way, no matter what. What does this button do? Oh, reset button. Instruction. Okay. Hmm. Like a knight in the chest. Oh, wow. Is this even possible? Now, why what, wouldn't this one go anywhere? Let me see this again. Oh. Now, this give me an idea. So, this one will move this way. So, we have to get into this spot. Yeah, that makes it more possible. Seems. Let me try this. So let's do this. Do this. Do this. This. Nope. Maybe do this. There we go. We got it. I did it now. I'll just light the fuse and boom! Well, that should be it. Stand by, Wenzel. Hello, Rufus. Tony, why are you sneaking around like that? This is still my house, remember? Well, it's not as obvious now since someone stole my mailbox. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to give you this letter. A letter? Rufus, it's almost time. Yes, I know. Sorry, Tony, but it's over. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. If only that was true. <laughs> it's Tony. Finally get to meet Tony. Cool. Let's see. I bet now you're sorry about some of the things you said. That's right. Starting with, you can stay with me. <laughs> This is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. I have a feeling she don't want him around. <laughs> There's nothing you could say to prevent me from going. What a stroke of luck! That means I can't say anything wrong. No, it's too late. You can beg all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Can I have that in writing? Jeez, this is so funny. <laughs> Why are you here? Are you still hoping for a miracle? It would be a miracle if you finally disappeared for real. But in case it doesn't work out again, I'll at least have the satisfaction of seeing you injure yourself. Makes sense. I'm leaving. For good. I gave up hope of that a long time ago. Wow. Wow, what a relationship. <laughs> Do I see a teardrop there? Uh, no. We can wait for that. I'm out of here. The sooner the better. Okay, so I think we have to... Uh, what, what was next? Calibrate the harpoon. Oh wow, we could like skip from the suitcase to the harpoon? This, this arrow, is, that's interesting. Light the fuse. Cling to the... Organon cruiser. Okay, so we have to light the fuse next. Here we go. No, just the tool for that. Torch. Now is when it counts. Ooh, gotta go, we gotta go. Ah, well. 
Maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point, will ya? Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Please find enclosed a voucher for a pack of ribbons. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? Whoa! I was trying so hard not to laugh during that part, guys. This is so, this is hilarious. Okay, um, let's see what the developer have to say about this. Hey, that went uh, well. <laughs> we are on board of the Organon Cruiser, one of the most important of Rufus's steps towards Elysium. And what makes this room especially important is, of course, the introduction of our female protagonist. And what a coincidence, she's right next to me here in the studio and that's Goal. Hello, Goal. Hello, Pokey. Maybe you could just tell us straight from the heart what it was like when you first met Rufus and also how you cope with the dicey situation right now. Um. I was told there was a script. Oh, you... Oh, okay, you, you thought we'd write dialogue and that this whole thing would be in any way organized. Uh, well, well, we thought it would be a better approach if we just... Um, there is no script. Right. Um, really well done. Well, well, well okay, crap. Uh, John, just to get this straight, didn't you say I don't need to write a script? That's what you said, didn't you? No, Pokey. I said you need to write a script. <laughs> Only he didn't. Uh, he said I won't need, uh, cross my heart. And um, I clearly remember him saying... Um, oh, another stroke of genius. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. It's way too exciting right now to listen to our very elaborated developer's commentary anyway. And I can totally understand if you want to continue playing now. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Wow, her name is Go? What a name. Bye guys, this will be the end of this part though. Actually, I should have saved the commentary for the next part, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. All your support, you are amazing. And if you enjoyed this, please be sure to click on button below to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, keep on playing. And I will see you soon. We'll just uh, leave Rufus hanging for now. <laughs>